What's going on guys? It's your boy, Elio, and welcome back. We have some scheduled maintenance notes for April 23rd. So without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and get this video started. All right, so this just went up um, not too long ago. Figured I would check it out for the boys out there, just in case you're curious about my opinion, which doesn't mean much, but it means very, very little, just for entertainment purposes, I suppose. But Gilgamesh is being added. We, of course, know that from before. He looks cool. Um, not a big fan of the robe action, though. I feel like the robes are played out in MSL. Like, after Merlin, I've been like... Merlin and Shiva, everybody just has robes. But who cares what he looks like? As long as he's OP, that's all that people want. But we have RGB and Light and Dark, which, which will be added to the Asher Guide. So... Looks like you guys might be getting another video tomorrow because I need to, you know, make sure I get him down in the reviews. Um, added new leader skill dedicated to reducing enemies' defense. This leader skill reduces attack, defense, resistance, and crit rate of the enemy. Highly effective against region defense boss, which I'm assuming is Titan. I don't know why they don't just call them Titans and um, Lupin. The debuffs from the same skill do not stack, so you can't have multiple of the leader skill stacking, which I don't think ever happened anyways. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe leader skill is stacked regardless. I believe the higher percentage of the leader skill overrides the lower ones, so I guess they're just saying, hey dude, you can't you can't stack this and, and expect things to be amazing. But Gilgamesh isn't out yet, and he already has books, so he's going to come pre-bookable, which to those out there with books for Nat 5s, congrats, man. Um, but Jiangxi is getting books, which is very, very interesting. And then uh, I guess here's the, the next update. The next update is when the leader skill should work everywhere. And like attack power 40% only in clan battles will now go to attack power 40% everywhere, which makes sense. And then adjusted some of the Nat 5 leader skills and their values. Barona, Griffin, Hohenheim, and Sanzing all got a boost up to their attack power and defense by 5%. So that's, that's going to be 40% attack power and 40... Okay, it's Slash. It's Slash. So some of the mons, like Barona and I think maybe Griffin? I don't know. I know Barona has attack 40% now. And then... More of the defensive mons that have the defensive lead is going to have 40% defense. I was reading this like this is both together. I was like, dude, what the hell? There's no way. There's no way. But they're separate. They're separate. You only get one. You only get one. I believe. But here they mention um, sap getting adjusted from 5% to 7%. So I'm interested to test that out once again. And then it's doing more damage in Titans. And then uh, um, Lupin as well. 10,000 damage per turn but don't really use sap there anyways so this doesn't it's not important at all i mean there's some healers and titans that have sap part of their kit unfortunately but nobody uses them for damage like this is why we have sea strikers and to those less fortunate unfledging strikers so that that means nothing to me in my opinion but um passive skill recovery down it's this has been positively rebalanced from 50 to 90 percent fine i mean hopefully we get some more content where recovery down is needed but i mean i guess i don't have any complaints about that now boys this right here is the meaty part curse and fulminating curse is getting a 20 percent boost in spell damage that is still it's still gonna be laughable i mean i could be wrong here i could be shooting myself in the foot here but that's still gonna be a joke dude that's still gonna be a joke the problem with curse is not only its damage it's that it suffers the same issue as sap where it can be resisted and not to mention there are countless mons countless freaking mons that have the curse fulminating curse combo to those guys not familiar if you haven't seen my curse videos the main issue of curse is that we need more mons or they need to modify the mons that we have to have double curse and only give some or select few fulminating curse to make this work because if you try to run this on auto and your mons do fulminating curse they're going to get rid of all stacks of curse to do damage which is fine if you have a lot of stacks but if you have no stacks up there if you have like one stack and then in the next turn you get like six stacks 
well, your DPS is just going to be garbage because they're going to keep doing it and you're never going to get a whole bunch of stacks before you take away the curse and do like a big hit. That is the main issue with curse. I guess this is a step in the right direction, but we'll just have to see in the video. We will just have to see. Um, then Hero Dungeon is now having a 100% drop rate. Only took them a month. I, I'll give kudos to where kudos is deserved and they get kudos for that. And now it may drop up to two soul stones. Which is great. Um, I don't know why they didn't do 100% drop rate from the beginning, but it is what it is. But um, Sun Wukong will be added in Gilgamesh as well, which I'm very interested in both just picking them up and having them for Titans or for fodder for other ones. But yeah, so we now have three uh, mons to work towards for the dungeon, so that should at least give us, I don't know, another two months minimum of um, running hero dungeons and getting some nat fives i'm 100 percent okay with that and then in the nat three special season the astromines that are three stars and below will have some nerf to their defense stat boost oh yeah just to speed it up this is just like they said before with the update this is just to help speed it up and then astromon of one and two stars will be granted even stronger buffs which we already know i think um a couple guys like barry and them um have already calculated pretty much what the percentage increase is of those so we know what's good with that um some new miho suits i guess actually not new some new colors um i have i have nothing to say about that just some new colors and then the guaranteed light and dark egg system and five star um rebirths finally boys finally i thought this day would never come but but boys, read that. So, after every, after your fifth summon, um, you now get 600 Astro Gems, which won't replace a Nat 5. I'm not asking it to replace Nat 5s. Don't, don't get me wrong here. And then, um, and on the tenth summon, you get 600 Astro Gems. So you get 1,200. You get roughly two pulls for sacrificing your Nat 5s. Okay, okay. But now, boys, we get a guaranteed light and dark egg at 15 rebirths 15 rebirths i'm not okay nat fours understandable nat threes and all that okay it, it is what it is 30 for nat threes um 15 for nat fours but 15 rebirths for nat fives bro 15 rebirths i'm saying it should be like 10 dude to be honest i think this should be 10 because 15 rebirths, when I was going for light griffin dude, I cleared out probably 90% of my fodder nat 5s. And that was like 12 or 13 rebirths. And I had like absolutely hardly anything left. And for me, oh, my cat just stretched in the background. Big stretch over there. But for me to go through all of that, and I had nat 5s stacked up for a while. There's no way I would be able to hit 15 without it taking away from fodder for other, um, for other mons that I'm trying to, um, evil and then to have 15 to give away 15 and okay imagine this imagine this you have enough astromon to give away to do 15 at five rebirths right and you want to say let's say for instance you want it um like griffin you sacrifice all of these nat fives which is a lot of nat fives by the way a lot of nat fives that's like what 30 nat fives and you pull a dark griffin 15 rebirths, 30 nat fives down the drain. Imagine that. You don't want to, huh? You don't want to. I mean, I'm not saying that um, the 10, the 10 mark would be any better. I, but it, come on here, come on here. It, it it would be way better. It would be it would be way better. This needs to be 10 Astromon for nat five, dude. This needs to be 10 because nobody has 15 Astromons. Not 15, but nobody has enough Nat 5 sitting around for 15 rebirths. And I do believe my math is wrong. I just thought about it in my head. That's 45 Nat 5s. That's 45 Nat 5s, dude. That's not 30. 30 would be 10. 30 would be 10. But that's 45 Nat 5s. No. No. Good step. Good good step in the right direction. But no. Um, Draka's coming back. So to the boys that don't have a fire Draka. If you have the Nat 5s, 
Um, I would prefer that you at least try to do this with at least um, around 15-ish net fives. That way you can do five pulls because there's a probability that you can't get fire. Um, that's just how it is. That's just how it works. You may get lucky and pull fire in your first one, but you may do five rebirths and get just water and wood. Hell, you may even pull a light, but I would say at least four minimum, but five would be better cushion if you're going for Draco to get him to Evo 3 or her, whatever the heck you want to call it. And then let's move down here. Um, Jiangxi is coming back, boys. Um, pretty darn cool. I'm okay with this. It's to all of you guys that missed out on Jiangxi, feel free to pick her up. I already do have an Astro Guide video out for her. Um, there's not really much to say about her. She's okay in some aspects and she's really predominantly a curse mon and if you want to try curse now's your time to do it boys now is your time to do it and then there's a um, Sarah blessing pack coming out and this gives you one more daily entry to the heroes dungeon for 30 days and then you get plus 50 consecutive auto battles that last 30 days but um, so we, I understand the hero dungeon, so you can get your nat 5 faster, depending on, especially if you're a new player and you want a water purse, or maybe if Gilgamesh is worthwhile for, um, PvE, maybe him, to use him, to help progress a little bit faster. Fire Wukong isn't going to do anything for you. The plus 50 consecutive auto battles, that's really not a big enough incentive, in my opinion, to, to be worth it. Like, there should be more of this. It should be plus 50 consecutive auto battles and then more energy. I mean, if they're going to go like a pay to win route or a. Yeah, if they're going to go a pay to win route, this should have. This should come with more energy. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to look out for the boys that are interested in buying this. That's all. That's all. I'm, I'm just trying to look out for you guys that are spending money that's trying to buy this and get a better value out of something that. They're adding in, but maybe they'll tweak this. It's nothing game breaking, especially for players that don't have this, which is good for players that don't have this. But if you're gonna pay up, dude, at least give the people what they deserve. Um, then a new sub property randomizer ticket pack is being added, and you can purchase this one per week. Not really sure how much this will cost. Um, Odin had speculation on how much this would cost, but from what I understand about this is. You can change one sub on a gem, if I'm correct. So if you have like a resist sub and you have um, flat recovery and attack and defense percentage on your gem, you can go over there to the flat recovery sub and change that. Now it doesn't um, guarantee that you won't get recovery percent, so you just replace your flat recovery with recovery percent but it's a way to change it but you're still playing essentially Russian roulette with that so this is a good step in the right direction towards us getting subs that we want it's something that we have to pay for and quite frankly if this is the way it works at least to my understanding it's still not gonna be worth it it's still not gonna be worth it if this is 10 bucks and you get 10 chances to re-roll subs but there's not like a guaranteed or yeah if there's not a guarantee that my recovery flat sub will not roll into resist not not resist but um recall roll into recovery percent then i don't want it dude i don't want it. i don't want to sit right here and just blow 10 tickets and finally get a crit rate sub because if this costs 10 bucks dude you just wasted 10 bucks to get one sub one sub imagine that imagine that i'm just saying maybe this is better than what i'm thinking it is it's a step in the right direction but i still think it needs more tweaking in my opinion tina support pack this is a pack for freaking trinkets it's up to you if you want it i mean trinkets are trinkets um high light and dark egg package again up to you boys if you feel like donating nothing wrong with that i have no animosity towards you because you keep the game going um variant holy gleam package once again if you have the money and you're down for it go for it boys go for it especially okay okay boys if you're interested in getting this pack go ahead and get it if, if you really want it 
but obviously hold off until after the update comes out and maybe give it a week or so and think about what mine that you may want to make variant for the leadership skill. If you if you are going to invest in this, I would say wait at least a week after maintenance to help you decide and think about what mine would I use this for to get that um, leader skill that is now available everywhere. But keep in mind that the update for that leader skill won't be applied until the next update from what we read earlier. So you can actually hold on to this even longer than a week. But I would say a week minimum before you decide to feed it. If not, buy it, throw it in storage, wait till the update comes and wait like a week after that before you decide what you're going to do because you're going to be spending a lot of money to have this and I'm, I'm just looking out for the boys dude I, I just want the best for you and I think that way is the best because you get time to decide and you don't just take this and give this to freaking I don't know some piece of crap nat 5 that even with their new updated skill everywhere is just not very good so just looking out for the boys man Beetle's coming back if you want Beetle, it's up to you. I'm not gonna hate on you if you want him. I would love a light and dark Beetle, but I'm not about to spend 27 USD on him. Not about to do it. Um, light Gene and Dark Gene as well. If you're interested in the genes, I would recommend Light Gene, in my opinion. I do have a Light Gene. I would recommend her, especially with her Super Evolution coming up. Dark Gene, maybe Dark Gene is gonna be good. I. I don't remember her skills right off the top of my head, but I think Light Gene would definitely be uh, um, a, a pretty good um, mod to have, especially for Super Evolution, because she is an HP uh, aggressor, if I recall. Um, crit resist can now be checked in stats. Secret egg packs now sell once a week, which was once a month previously. DPS meter. Any changes made to the damage meter are now saved on the client. For instance, if you choose to toggle it off, it will stay off until you toggle it on again and vice versa fix some bugs and yeah that's pretty much it so uh this video took longer than i wanted to but i just wanted to give my thoughts and trying to look out for the boys um if you guys are excited about anything feel free to leave a comment below do you guys think the way mso is moving is in the correct direction like i feel like mso is moving in the correct direction especially after the slime nerf which was like what two months ago it's just more tweaking needs to be involved. I mean, I feel like they're going to hopefully, hopefully tweak this in the future. If they don't, they don't. But if they can tweak this in the future, it's slowly becoming um, better by the month. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm super excited. Um, hopefully, I, I can just pick up a water Jiangshi to use in another curse video. But that's pretty much it, boys. Um, like I said before, if you've been checking out the channel for a while, go ahead and make sure you hit that sub button. And make sure you like the video if you guys appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.